Hello everybody, welcome back to the Reset Info channel. In today's video, I will show you how to easily fix Bluetooth not connecting on your Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 7. So first, what you guys want to do is toggle Bluetooth off and on in the settings. So open them up, now click on connections, and here click on Bluetooth. As you guys can see, my Bluetooth is disabled already. But let's enable it. Now, as you guys can see, it will. Here we can stop searching for another devices. Now, turn off the Bluetooth and wait a couple of seconds until you turn it back on. So, now let's just click it. And now our Bluetooth is enabled. It should be working. And whenever your device is paired to the phone, then simply unpair it and repair it again with the device. You guys also do that here, you guys will see the connected devices, you will click on the gear icon on the right side and right at the bottom here you guys will see the forget button. So now what you guys can do is restart the phone and the Bluetooth device. So if it's for example your headphones then restart them or place them in the case and close the case until your phone is back. So basically hold the power button and the volume down button at the same time. Now click restart and tap again to restart the phone. And what you guys can do with your headphones for example, is place them back in a case and turn them on once the phone is working. So I'll see you guys once my phone restarts. Now, after the phone restart, the last thing you guys can do is update your software to fix any connectivity bugs. So when you think it's a glitch, then what you guys want to do is check for the newer software updates. So go over to the settings. Now in those settings, scroll all the way down until you guys see the software update right here and click on download and install. Now it will check for updates automatically, you just need to be connected to a Wi-Fi network. And as you guys can see, my software is up to date, but if yours isn't, then I recommend you guys updating it because it can fix a lot of issues, including the connectivity ones. So that's basically it. I hope this video helped you. And if it did, then leave a like, sub and a comment, and I'll see you in the next one.